uh, initially, when the medical marijuana law passed, we saw a lot of illegal retail marijuana operations, storefronts, opening up, and they were claiming that everybody walk, walking through the door, that they were the primary caregiver for everybody that came in and bought marijuana from them. And well, what happened is some of these cases worked their way through the court system, and the California Supreme Court weighed in. And it said, no, of course not. You're not the primary caregiver for somebody who just walks in the door and purchases marijuana for you. Yeah. Specifically, in the Endless Summer Project, there were uh, people that you would call on the phone, you would tell them you wanted to order a certain amount of marijuana, like a Domino's pizza driver, they would come to your door, they would bring various varieties of marijuana, they'd sell you the marijuana, and then they'd depart. There's no caregiving relationship there. So it's not the medical marijuana that's the problem here. It's really the type of activity, the type of drug sales that's being engaged in that's the problem. Uh, the undercover officer wasn't in any group to grow marijuana. Um, what he was doing is simply ordering marijuana. It was a retail transaction. So that's, what, that's where they ran afoul of the law. And it's, it's really like anything. It's like pharmacies or um, nightclubs, bars, restaurants that serve alcohol. Everybody has to comply with the rules, the law that goes along with what you're providing. Medical marijuana is no different. There are rules that you have to follow. There are ways that you have to do it. And if you do it within the law, you'll be protected. If you do it outside of the law, you'll be prosecuted. The district attorney has been on record for a long time saying that she supports medical marijuana. She uh, has been in favor of medical marijuana use for the sick and the dying. Uh, and that's the policy of her office. But more importantly, the policy of our office is to follow the law.